Hi folks, it's uh, Thursday, May 20th. Um, it's exactly a week after it would have been Joshua Donato's 25th birthday last Thursday on the 13th. I wanted to do a broadcast for him last week to introduce you all to him in case you hadn't seen it in the newspaper or you hadn't heard about him, um, about this young man and his fight against Hodgkin's lymphoma and uh, the fact that he married his best friend in the hospital at the ICU in Halifax, um, which was part of his dying wish was to be married to her and everyone around them made it happen, whether it was the military or family or the folks from the hospital themselves who actually got it all together and decorated and made things happen for them. Uh, it was really an amazing story and uh, I, I, I myself had missed it um, and when I was sent the original little blurb um, from Siobhan uh, inviting me to Joshua's birthday party, of course I'd, I'd, I hardly even looked at it because it's not something that I, I do or whatever until Siobhan gave it a second try um, and, and said please read this. It's not really a birthday party. We want you to be part of something bigger and please could you help us um, get it all together. So I, I read it and of course when you read this you have you have no choice but to become emotionally involved and, and understand what the folks um, who love Josh uh, were all feeling and wanted to do for him. It's, it's a tribute they wanted to have and there's a a Facebook site where they wanted you to click on read the story a little bit and then go out and do random acts of kindness or you know help someone it doesn't even have to include people that you know it, it can be you know strangers um, it can be anybody anything it really was not set up in any way whatsoever you know I, I when I first looked in there were slightly a little more than 300 when I looked in on the 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 page the first time when I looked in today there's over 700 people that have clicked in and logged in and, and said that they would like to support this cause and, uh, and what the family really wanted to have happen was is that if you did do something that w for someone else could you please come back into the site and, and type in what it was you did so that other folks could see and that they could actually be part of the whole thing um i know from being and doing this broadcast that there's a lot of folks who never ever take credit for anything they jump in have a look go out and do what they think they have to do and and, and do some good works and stuff but they never ever look for credit and they certainly would never jump back into the page and and profess that they've done something good. That's not their way. I mean, I, I, we get lots of people jumping in and looking at the broadcast, not making comments, but we know they were there and, and they tell other people and so they know that we're around trying to make this whole thing, whether it's the bucket list or the blue ribbon or, in, in fact, at this point, the, the setup for Joshua. Um, so that his his parents and his wife Ryan and uh, and the rest of his relatives and friends can be involved in this, and they wanted it to last for 25 days. So it's been seven days now, and my God, the things that people have done and and have written in and said has really been incredible. But I don't want anybody to think that they have to go as far as the next guy, or it's a competition or anything like that at all. It's not. We all know not everybody can afford to pay for somebody else's groceries or, or their gas station. I mean, my God, the old lady next door, maybe all she wants is her windows cleaned. Maybe that's all she needs. You know, or the old guy next door, he can't afford to buy his firewood this year, but he's got some wood in the back. If somebody would just cut it up for him, all we have to do is go, just go next door. We don't even have to go far. We can just... I mean, I'm sure some of our neighbors are always in need. I mean, we know fine well. If 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 in, in our area there are still soup kitchens and uh, oh, hostels and, and, and things like this, then we know there are people out there that need help. We don't have to go to Cuba or wherever to, to help other folks. We got enough of them around here. We can certainly do what we have to do here. The, the 
other thing that I wanted, and, and most of you probably didn't even see it, was in the Chronicle Herald. It was Saturday, April the 17th this year. It was written by Jeff and Jane Hawley. Um, and it says, and I'm just going to read it to you because I have time. And, and it said, they could have said no. Okay? No. Small word, but very powerful. No is one of the strongest. It's meant it's adversary. Oh, if I had real glasses, life would be easier. It says, in a tear-filled room this past Monday, the angels, as we call them, said yes. They took a young man's wish a man suffering from cancer and from severe complications, and they made the wish come true. They made flowers from paper, they made ribbons from gauze, they made lights where there were none, and a mantle of flowers from the generous hands of others and their own kind words. They took the small things we walk by every day and made a way to make them seem special. They took a most challenging time for everyone and made it a dream come true. They brought joy to a young woman's heart and hope to everyone who was there. The nurses and workers in MSICU at the VG are very special in giving angels. We watched our nephew's wish to be married come true. As he lay fighting the fight against cancer, he knew things were tough and wished to be married as soon as possible. They could have said no, and it would have ended right there. Nobody would have argued. It was not the normal thing to do. But angels listen to the heart. The MSICU created a miracle day and allowed a man to be married while he fought for his very breath. They welcomed his family and bright to be and made it possible even though they did not need to. They could have said no. The family can never be more thankful and when one of the staff was approached and told how much it was appreciated, the reply was, we thank you. This is our job. Small words are powerful on that day with monitors and wires and apparatus that saves lives buzzing away. Two powerful small words were heard. I do. A man and woman became husband and wife, and the angels in the VG and several officers from CFB Halifax became angels because they made a wish come true. We thank you. And that was from Jeff and Jane Holly, and I believe Uncle and Aunt for Joshua. Anyway, folks, what I want to do is to encourage you more to keep going with this uh, for Joshua and his family to to see if we can, you know, re I don't know that there is actually an end goal. I don't think that's what it is. I think it's a matter of can we just please click into that site, type in a few words, even if you, it doesn't matter if you... If you could have or you haven't been out and haven't done anything today, my God, if you get on the telephone and you say, Hi, how are you doing today? You know, how's it hanging? Whatever. I mean, that brightens up somebody's day. I know, you know, sometimes it's hard, but, you know, all you got to do is, Gee, that color looks nice on you. Or, hi, nice to see you. Anyway, folks, that's, that's what I'm doing today, and I, uh, I'm glad Siobhan made me have a look again and she kept on at me to make sure that I did something and today it's done. So please don't forget everything else that we've promised we do. Go check your neighbors. Make sure everybody's fine. And with that, it's up for you, Joshua and Ryan. Peace out, folks. <laughs>